Record cleared for suspected boy who turned in toy gun at school. NATO exploits phantom Russian troop buildup to call for militarizing Eastern Europe. Bilderberg has been found. 2014 confab to take place at Five Star Marriott Hotel in Copenhagen, Denmark. Some Obama supporters still think it's racist. That's the quote to oppose Obamacare. We've got the proof up on Infowars.com. The Chinese are acquiring large chunks of land in communities all over America. The Chinese government, I would add. Who cares if the Chinese do? IPCC, doom and gloom. Global warming apocalypse is political theater, not real science. And then we have a Paul Craig Roberts headline that's really kind of an understatement of the year. The Federal Reserve has no integrity. That has a lot of integrity robbing us and debasing the dollar. For the globalists, it's an enemy operation. But going back to the calls, Rage in New Mexico says he works with a SWAT team and uh, has seen the $200,000 just with the department he's in and around uh, of night vision and you know the armored vehicles, all of it. The point is there's an attitude of shoot first, ask questions later. The system's incredibly corrupt. New Mexico, we just continue to see so many cases of torture, uh, of abuse, uh, of people locked up for two years. No one knows where they are for no reason. No one getting in trouble. Uh, and basically everything's justified. And then after he gets done talking about New Mexico, since he mentioned this, uh, we're going to uh, get into some of that. And also nearby in, 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 in Arizona, where the cop runs up and just attacks a woman for no reason is walking down the street. That reminded me of the uh, you know, video of the guy on the bicycle. The cop walks up and knocks off and almost kills uh, just for no reason. There's an attack dog mentality. Uh, and you know, those type of people who just want to randomly attack people. It's like, it's like folks that have pit bulls. Not all pit bulls are like this, but some people have pit bulls. And, and they attack people. I, I have a friend who got some pit bulls and was rescuing them. And I said, listen, you better watch out, man. One day those things will just bite you. And one day, uh, the two pit bulls got in a fight, and he tried to separate them, bit his foot almost off, his hand, just wrecked him, and then did it again a month later. First, he was going to keep them, and then he was like, oh, I think I'm going to get rid of them now. And it's the fact that you don't want a mindless pit bull, folks. That's not what you want in police. And you certainly don't want them working for the globalists. But side issue, let's talk to Rage in New Mexico. Go ahead and tell your story about the big hoax you want to discuss. You were saying... You're saying the state of New Mexico's government is becoming a hoax. Go ahead and elaborate. Sure, the entire state's a hoax. I'm really glad that you've been getting a lot more press uh, focused on New Mexico. You mentioned the other day that New Mexico Magazine has a background and the very back cover uh, story every month. One of these is missing, one of these 50 is missing. People don't even know we're a state, and that's by design. But because of what's been going on and the coverage, you've been giving it more than just about any other media outlet that I can find anywhere. I implore you to send someone out here so I can really debrief you. You said once that people who really know things don't call in. They meet you at golf outings or private in, you know, events that you're doing. I don't have the ability to travel. I have a broken neck and back right now. So, and I don't really care about my life at this point, Alex. I, I don't have a life. We don't have lives if what I'm about to tell you isn't the truth. We have politicians and lobbyists who are not just lobbyists, but are paid cover-up artists. Let me repeat that. Paid cover-up artists. If you'll please have one of your guys type agenda-global.com. Agenda-global.com. They're a merger of a K Street uh, Washington lobby firm with a crisis management PR firm. Go to the bio section of a man named Doug Turner. Look at his bio. You'll see he is a term member of the CFR. You will see that in 2010, he provided strategic communications. You can read that as cover-up for the Japanese prime minister for Fukushima. But he was also the man responsible for getting the independent governor, Gary Johnson of New Mexico, in the governor's mansion. Everything is enmeshed. Nothing is what it seems. This is the CIA's playground. It is drug central. People have a ton of money, and none of them are ever busted. None of them are ever touched. The cops are even good men when they're in a group of 20 or 30, like I've seen, will shoot or will do exactly what they're told because they're trained to follow orders. Independently, they're amazing men, incredible men of integrity who I would want on my side any day. You put them in a group of 20. And you, you take the Judas goat and you turn it into one of those pit bulls you were just talking about, 
an Alex who have a hurt mentality and an LT who says, engage. If someone jumps out on his own arms and says, bang, bang, are you going to stop the fight? How, how, excuse my language. Heck no. Well, that's what's going on is the militarization of police and military kill people and break things. They attack an enemy. So the entire rules of engagement are being changed because the ruling class deals the drugs. They launder the money. They run the high-end uh, prostitution, the whole thing. And now it wants to get rid of the larger economy because it's threatened by anyone else having wealth. It's incredible. Sir, send us an email to showtipsandinfowars.com, uh, or you can give us your number. And, and David Knight's been doing a lot of coverage of, of New Mexico. My issue is I know about the corruption in different zones. I'm aware of it. And it, 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 it's all fueled by the drug war. That's why they made drugs illegal back in the 30s after alcohol was made legal again. They had to have something that was illegal. Almost no one was using drugs then. You could buy anything you wanted at the drugstore on record. And then they made it illegal. Then they mixed it in, made it flashy in the movies, made it flashy in the culture. There was huge profits in it now that it was illegal. And they were able to take over our society with it. And now we have paramilitary police running around uh, who literally think that you are an Iraqi in Fallujah if you question a checkpoint on a highway. And they're only being put into this mindset because there is a total takeover of civilization happening. Agenda 21 is going to jack up all the power prices, all the energy prices, all the transportation prices, all the jobs are going to be herded through them. In fact, let's get that clip ready and I'm going back to calls. This is a new EPA propaganda commercial targeting children demonizing wood smoke. Folks, wood smoke is on record to go out and to fertilize fields. It's on record associated with more rainfall going up into the atmosphere. There's always been wood smoke, nitrogen. It's part of the carbon cycle on the planet. It's good. And there is a war on real sustainability. When you hear the word sustainable from mainstream media, they mean shutting you off, not letting you have your own off-the-grid power supply, not letting you have a um, well. It means you're on the government system living in a you know 20-story high-rise, 50-story high-rise, doing what they say, totally unsustainable. And when we had the lawyer on from Florida where they're trying to stop the woman who legally and lawfully has a well on her own rural property and her own power. And they did a news story about her, so the zoning department came out. This is global zoning written to shut you down. And they're coming after the wood stoves. San Francisco's trying to pass laws to tax fireplaces, just if you have one. Inspectors come in, you wall it up, or you pay a fine. You understand that? This isn't a game. And I tell people this on air, and they go, man, you're making that up. Folks, they've already banned new fireplaces in homes six, seven years ago in Germany. My parents live in a house built in the 30s back when it was cold. We go through cycles. It's getting cold again. Every room. I've seen some old houses where the bathrooms have little fireplaces. Because that's how you heated your house. And the point is, it's already going extinct like cash, but they want to get rid of it. They want us as prisoners. Here is this EPA propaganda commercial targeting children. Smoke from wood stoves and fireplaces can make you sick. Wood smoke can give you a stuffy nose. Make your eyes water. And even make you cough. It can also cause an asthma attack. My grandma replaced her wood stove because I have asthma. I'm happy that I can breathe better. To help protect your health and the health of loved ones, find ways to reduce wood smoke. Go to epa.gov slash burnwise. All right, just like uh, we've seen a 3,000% increase in type 2 diabetes, that's in the general public, and Hispanics is even higher. The numbers are by 2025, half the U.S. will have type 2 diabetes. And something like 70 plus percent, you, you can look it up, the numbers vary, of uh, Hispanics will have it. There's no discussion of why is everybody getting this. What's the different additives? One thing linked to destroying your pancreas and making you obese and giving you cancer. It was, I saw CBS News Today reporting on it. Uh, is aspartame. It's in almost every major processed food now, not just gum. Sugar gum has it. It's highly addictive. Wood alcohol, it's 88 degrees. Your body's 98 plus. 
breaks down to wood alcohol. That's what makes you go blind. There's no discussion for these kids about why is asthma up multi-thousand percentage points. The GMO, the allergies. There's no discussion of why you had much less allergies back in the years when everybody had wood-burning stoves. No. And, of course, now wood-burning stoves will trigger allergies with people because you're already so overwhelmed. You're already so screwed up. There's a phenomenon now where people I know that own a few acres in Austin here and there, where it's been built up now, formerly on the edge of town, their neighbors call the police on them, even when there's no burn ban, when they have a campfire in their backyard. That's the nanny state, folks. That's the nanny state in America. In fact, I'll go ahead and say it. It's my parents. They live on four acres in the middle of Austin that they bought back in the early 90s. And they're building condos all around them, you name it. And it, it, it's like heaven over there. They got a you know, pool, whole nine yards. And the neighbors just call the police all the time, different ones. Oh, you're having a fire out by Christmas, people standing around, you know, out by the pool, got a fire pit, call the police. Your kids are.